Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to kit up my little Westie, my little Harvey. I've decided to call him Harvey because he looks so much like my Harvey that I used to have my little West Highland White Terrier. Okay, so yeah. Oh, he's just so sweet. Let's put him out of the way a minute. We just want the drills for now. Um, I've got my little key code, my little schematic. Uh, all nice bold letters and DMC numbers on it. So we've got that. And then, as usual, I photocopied it. So I'm going to pop this through my little Zyron sticker maker. And then I'm going to put it onto some little storage containers, which are the little 28 storage containers, because this one doesn't have quite so many colours. So I thought we'd just use the smaller one for now, which I do like using. Okay, so where's my Zyron sticker maker? And where have I put my scissors? Scissors, scissors, scissors. I would lose my head if it wasn't, if it was loose. <laughs> it wasn't loose. <laughs> I think my brain's loose in my head sometimes. Okay, so we don't need the approximate number of gems. So we just need this little bit here. Oops, I can't see to cut straight very well today. My eyesight's not brilliant today because I'm really tired at the moment. Um, hubby's home, which is marvellous. Uh, but uh, I am doing a lot of caring at the moment. He does need a lot of help, bless him. So it's going to be a while before we're back to normal. But uh, at least he's home and he's doing well. Okay, oops. And unfortunately, my nails are in a shocking condition. But when you're helping somebody with personal care, you don't want long fingernails. <laughs> He's not very popular. You're apt to make people squeal if you use, have long fingernails. So, right, yep, let's make sure we're putting this in the right way, Liz. Oh, my goodness, my brain is just not functioning this morning. Okay. Hope you're all well and doing okay. Just get these through, make these little stickers. Oh, this one doesn't want to go through, look. I'm trying to keep it straight and in the end just making it wonky anyway. So I should have just pushed it through. Right, that's that done. Get the sticker maker out the way. Okay, so if you've not seen one of these before, all it does is... Uh, oh dear, look, not having nails is a nightmare. Uh, it just makes the back of the stickers sticky so that they'll go on the little pots. Let's just move Harvey out of the way there with this little key code. You see, you can, and people do use these, um, just use this as a sticky or just use it for reference. Or some people just like 1 to 20 or whatever on the pots. But I like to keep that because I have a little um, log book that I keep all my diamond paintings in. Right, so let's have a look, make sure I've got all these the right way around and that these are the good ones. Yeah, these are my craft buddy ones. I did get some uh, cheaper ones. Oh, got a top off them. Um, some tweezers there, I must have been using those last time. Um, and the lids just didn't stay stuck and it was a nightmare. We tipped them out and they just didn't stay stuck. So I think that's as many as we'll need. I think that's out of a different one. It's a slightly different colour. I do tend to get them muddled up. I have, oh, that's quite a slack one, so we definitely won't use that one. But we're working from this end, so we should have enough here. So let's just cut these up. Yeah, so how is everybody doing? Hope you're all okay. Um, we've just had a bank holiday weekend here, and it absolutely chucked it down. Rain, rain all day. But... Uh, as the Brits do, we uh, all went out to seaside looking at uh, the news and people's social media pictures. And even though it was raining, everybody just went out and had a good time anyway. Just made the most of easing of lockdown a little bit. We've still got to wear masks and try and keep safe, but we can wear, uh, meet with a few extra people outside now. Um, and we are starting to get there because a lot of people here have now been vaccinated. So that's really good. So let's just pop these stickers on these little boxes, get them stuck on. Oops, I should have done a move away around. See, they always seem to do everything back to front. I don't know why. Just <laughs> My 
brain has definitely a different way on to other people's, I'm sure. But never mind. Oh, and they're not very straight, but hey ho. This is only quite a smallish picture. It won't take me long to do, hopefully. And uh, yeah, it will get go on my wall with all my Scotty pictures that I've done. Um, I have got some custom Scotty pictures on the way of uh, my current little Scotty, Millie Moo, who's downstairs with Daddy at the moment watching him. She's a very good nurse. She does like to look after him. Um, she, yeah, has been following him around since he came home like a little shadow. I think she's really missed him, so that's really sweet. And if he has to have a day uh, where he's in bed and he's not feeling brilliant or he's just too tired or too weak to get up, then she stays in bed with him. And I go upstairs and they are both just snoring away. Mm, yes, must be nice. <laughs> What's a day in bed or a lion? Anyway, here ho. Okay, let's have a look at these drills. Right, just move you with that way slightly, Harvey. Okay, so we'll start off. And I'm going to stand them in my nice weighted orange tray from Craft Buddy. It's got a good thick bottom that's weighted, haven't we all? <laughs> And we'll start with A. Okay. And I'll just chop the tops off there. And we'll just tip these in. I'm sure I'm doing this wrong. I'm sure somebody said to me to do them a different way. And I can't remember what they said. Oops. <laughs> now then, let's just get those stragglers in there. You never know, you might need that extra straggler. So, yeah, Nurse Millie, um, she does have uh, a little nurse's outfit, would you believe? Um, it's quite, well, so I think I've said before, we, we belong to um, the Scotty Rescue Society and uh, when we have we have um, a summer and a Christmas party and when we have the fancy dress, um, we dress the dogs up. Millie absolutely hates it. That's just a little bit of sealer there. Look, I've been doing some sealing this weekend and that's got stuck. Um, yeah, so Millie hates getting dressed up, but she doesn't even really like a collar on. If she didn't have to wear a collar to go out for a walk, she wouldn't. We've tried harnesses and things, um, and she did like a harness for a while, but then for whatever reason, she just decided that um, she was going to sit down. Oh, look at that, I've spilt those, and just not move. So she just not moves. <laughs> and she just sits and does absolutely nothing and it's like having an elephant on the end of the lead so now she just has a little collar on so at least when we put her in an outfit we know that we can get a photograph of her because she's not going to move because we're really not good people like that <laughs> really cruel making the dog wear a dress but uh, yeah i'll put a photograph of millie's little nurse's outfit um and the disdainful look on her face that you can see uh, while she's wearing it. Oh, sorry, it does make us laugh. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's just Millie. Our previous Scotty Maisie loved getting dressed up. She would just sit there and she was quite happy to wear jumpers, little coats, anything. Uh, well, not these that dress up dogs and, you know, take them around in handbags and stuff. Um, we know that dogs are dogs. But uh, yeah, sometimes it's quite fun just to get them dressed up and when it's cold in winter it's nice to put a little coat on it just keeps them a little bit um drier so yeah we we do do that but yeah she's uh, quite a one-off is our millie she's really not a happy little girl if you put anything on her she's had a few outfits over the years she did come third in one of the fancy dress competitions so she yeah, at least got a bag of dog treats and everything for her misery. <laughs> oh dear, she's fun. But yeah, she's downstairs looking after her dad at the minute. Just, oops, oh, that one very good. Liz just managed to flick those over. Now I think I'm playing tiddlywinks with all my drills rather than actually putting them in pots. That's a lovely blue, a nice palish baby blue, pastely blue. 
Oh, look, and I can't pick them up very well because I've no nails. Okay, Jack. Oops. Oh, goodness me. It's going to be one of those days. Never mind. Now I'm trying to pick up the... Oh. <laughs> now I'm picking up the bits of uh, dried sealer that I've got onto my silicone mats there these are just sort of like baking mats silicone mats but i just found the good as craft mats because they're quite nice and the one that's escaped there as well that, that uh, don't mark your desk but don't try cutting on them because they will cut through as i've learned to my cost okay so this is going quite nicely just kitting this up oh they look a bit staticky i'm oh, getting a bit Bucking Bronco jumping out of the tub there. I think this is going to be the shading. It's not actually the sky, is it? It's, I don't know, it's like, um, we've got like a pink sky and then we've got like bluish grey clouds. So, mm, it's like a, a sunset -y or type background or a sunrise. Just get these, yeah, these are definitely a bit staticky. I have to get my tumble dry sheets out. It's when plastic comes into uh, contact with plastic sometimes you do get that bit of static. <gasps> they are playing me up today. Look, there's one stuck on the top there as well, just to torment me. <laughs> oh dear. So how do you kit up? Do you like uh, using these little tubs or do you use different ones? And I'm just the next row. I must admit, when I'm doing a smaller painting and I'm working in a smaller area, then I do tend to like my little smaller tubs. But uh, anything that's got bigger, um, oh, what am I thinking of? Get your words out, Liz, get your words out. Anything that's got bigger amounts of drills, larger amounts of drills, oh gosh, English, English. Uh, then I tend to use my little craft buddy 30 or 60 storages with the bottles with the lids because they tend to be uh, a little bit uh, well they hold more and they're a little bit sturdier and I have bought one of those little carts now with the wheels on um, for putting all my crafting stuff in all my diamond painting stuff so that makes life a little bit easier um, and rather than having, because I used to have like a little coffee table next to my seat with all my spare bits on and my drills and everything. Um, and then I was having to lift it out the way um, when Hubby was coming in and out. Whereas now my little storage trolley, I can just wheel it out the way. So that's made life an awful lot easier. Uh, it's these things that you come across as you're looking after people and you're doing things. You, you need to get used to your circumstances and as things change, you just come up with ideas and change along with it okay oh, oh do you know what i'm just going to throw those two away i know i might need them and i might regret that but i am not playing with drill anymore <laughs> okay and oh okay okay is the next one yay this is a, like a babyish pink but these really do sparkle i do like craft buddy drills Oh, well, these are a little bit staticky as well. I uh, have to watch them. Just makes them pop out a little bit and not behave. And if they were any bigger, I would slap them. <laughs> Get in there. Little horrors. Right, so we're on to L. Which is 3371. It's quite a, a darkish colour. We do have, uh, oh no, we don't have any 310s in this one. So I have noticed that Crafty don't tend to do a lot of um, 310 drills, which is the pure black drills. They seem to use other colours and do shading more, which is uh, quite unusual, but it does give you a good shade and a good colour. And it makes it just pop that little bit more. I do like that. Oh, that's uh, oh, so I'll not be putting them in the wrong one, Liz. Definitely don't need them in the wrong one. So, on M next. Oh, not many of these. See, if that had have gone in a big, um, one of the little screw tub pots, 
that would have just got lost really so it's quite nice just having them in here again a little bit staticky but not too bad okay get that one in there like that put the rubbish in the bin yeah i think it's if you cut from this side then it pours a bit easier i've been cutting the tops off and ending up with two thick sides and it's not good I think that's what uh, the lady said to me. So thank you, whoever it was. Um, I have finally remembered what to do. And they are pouring an awful lot better now. So, I mean, if you have got any tips or tricks that you'll use, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I'm here to learn as well. I like to show you how I do things. But if you've got better ways or think that, you know, somebody else would like to know your tip, then please share it. I think that's what crafting's all about, sharing and uh, seeing what other people are doing and i'm a big believer that there's a plenty of room for everybody even though there are an awful lot of youtube people doing um videos on diamond painting now i think you can learn something from everybody not just from one person and i do try and follow as many people as i can so that's all my drills done that's my little picture so that goes with my drills so that i know that that is my Westy case there, my little Harvey. Now this canvas, um, I know sometimes I do uh, put extra plastic, uh, sorry, put the cover sheets over, which are the little like wax paper cover sheets, but I'm not going to do that on this one because I will probably, rather than working in squares on this with it being a smaller canvas, I think I'm just going to work colour by colour on this and see how that works out because there's quite a bit although it's got um, quite a bit of confetti around here where the colours change there are quite a few colour blo blockings as well where there's a lot of the same colour so I think I'll have a go with that one and see how that goes so I'm not going to do anything with that canvas um, I shall put the frame out of the way until it's completed so I've got my tray ready to put my diamonds in for painting and that's that so i hope you've enjoyed this just a little chit chat and kitting up my little harvey my westie and uh, i'll show you when he's finished if you've enjoyed it please press that like button because it does help me out with youtube and if you want to see a bit more if you press the subscribe button it will notify you when my next videos come out so thanks for watching see you all again soon bye for now